Three of my favorite recipes uh, in the book, amongst many, are the miso clams, pan baguette, and the Thai style crab cakes. Please describe this, these <laughs> mouth-watering recipes for the audience because I want to make everybody very, very hungry as they leave this theater tonight. <laughs> It's like, you know, the worst time. Do you notice like every night when you basically watch it, if you're watching television late, like, they always have a commercial about some type of food, like at 11 o'clock. The worst possible time makes you stomach hungry. So I want you to make us really hungry right now okay. about these three recipes describing them because they're incredible. Okay, so Fanfania is a French, it's basically like a niçoise salad on a baguette. So if you can find a beautiful fresh baguette, and then you basically put the ingredients of the miswas on it, you know, mayonnaise, you can rub some garlic on it if you want, tuna, beans, egg, uh, tomatoes, and it's just like a perfect French, you know, when I was, I did a movie in France a long, long time ago, and, that, and that's when I first discovered it, and I was like, this is the most delicious thing ever. Um, and is that for one or two people, because the picture in the book is, Picture looks like four people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, what, yeah, what, it depends on how big your bag is and how big your house is. <laughs> and and tell us about the uh, tell us about the other two. The okay, miso, what were the, 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 the miso clams? So the miso clams was one that I came up with when I was like, this is when I was thinking, you know, when I, when I first started to speak about this kind of elegant but very quick food, um, and they're really delicious. You just, you know, it's just a little bit of white miso, butter, sake, and you put your clams in, and you let them, the sake boil and it steams, you take off the lid, and it's just fragrant and gorgeous. It takes literally 10 minutes. Um, and what was the third recipe? The third one was uh, the Thai-style crab cake. Thai, okay. So I love crab cakes. And then my first... Where do you normally like the crab? Where do you normally like the crab from? Is it Maryland crab? Where? I mean, Maryland crab is always great. Blue crab from Maryland is perfect crab cake material. Um, and I love I love good crab cake. And in my first book, I made this really delicious, not that healthy, because my son was obsessed with SpongeBob, and he was like, "What's a crabby patty?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what a crab patty is, but I'm going to make one. And so it's this very delicious, you know, but it's, it's got egg and fried and breadcrumbs and it's on a brioche bun and it's yummy and soft. So I thought, well, I should make a crab cake for this book that's maybe not as, you know, fried and unhealthy, whatever. So it just has gorgeous Thai flavors in it, and lemongrass and garlic and shallots and I mean, it's just a little bit of a twist on a crab cake. Since most of breakfast, does he do crab cakes instead? He, he is, he will do a bite of the crab cake. He, unfortunately, his... It's impressive, a bite. I, I know. His, his sister is really, she is, I mean, she was born a vegetarian. She's not interested in anything that's not vegetarian. So, so you didn't basically tell her to become no. a vegetarian. So basically she just did not like meat to start with. She no, just got never. Was, or was a health thing? No, she okay. never liked it. She would never try it. If I gave it to her when she was little, she would spit it out. Um, she just, she came out like that. And as a result that she does in, that she's a vegetarian, did Moses become No, a thank God he'll eat some other things. Okay. But um, but he, uh, he gets suspicious of things that, because she'll be like, ew, what is that? I mean, I'll never forget, one time I was in London and I had gotten this beautiful organic free range duck from the butcher, the local butcher, and um, he had butchered it, I was gonna braise it and make this braised Chinese duck thing that I made. And she, it was in a plastic bag and um, the duck was in there and there was blood in the bag. And I'll never forget, she looked at the bag and she was about, probably like three years old. And she said to me, is that blood? <laughs> and I was like, yes, it's blood. And she was like, why are you going to eat that? And I was like, oh my gosh. So she's just, that's who she is. She just you know, won't eat it. So it makes him a little bit more dubious about food, but he will try more than she does, for sure. 